Thank you very much. Um, Paolo Casaca, my friend, you're a hard act to follow. Your humanism, your gestures for humanity, all of the jobs you have. I don't have as many jobs as you. <laughs> well, I want to make three points. Uh, one, I note the bipartisanship that was in this room, represented by, what, 13 or 14 members. I note that there was a consensus on the idea of sanctions and designations against Iran. And I note that they all came up with the same bottom line concerning free Iran. One of the things I do is study the Iranian resistance. I study all Iranian resistance groups. Why? Because it's important to note that when you study all of them, you find that the National Council of Resistance of Iran, its largest unit, the Mujahideen al Khalq, stands out as the only one the Iranian regime pays attention to. The exposition set up around the country to tell the youths not to pay attention to the to the National Council of Resistance of Iran ideas because they are so dangerous. These are democratic ideas that are dangerous. So that's one of the things I want to mention concerning the bipartisanship. Now let me say something about the sanctions issue. I've done a, a couple of studies now on sanctions and designations. And one of the things that cuts across all of our speakers today was the idea of sanctioning the Islamic Revolutionary Guards Corps now, sanctioning them. And here you have Hez Hezbollah, which is sanctioned. Hezbollah would be nothing with the al without the Pastoran, the Islamic Revolutionary Guards Corps. So therefore, you must sanction them now and not later. Designating the IRGC is a way of sending a signal to the Iranian regime that the tide has turned. The tide has turned to a new, not to a new generation, but the regime's days are numbered. And therefore, that's why designation is so important. Now, I want to end by, on this note, to say that concerning freedom, all of our speakers called for a free Iran. And they had their little flat hash, hashtag, um, free Iran. It's, it's extremely important to focus on this idea of freedom, because freedom is a, not only a, an interest for this country to pursue, but it's, a, it's morally correct. Now, many people think that a free Iran would upset the status quo, but there are, up, there are ways of having a free Iran without having American boots on the ground or planes in the air. You don't need an invasion of Iran what you need is some kind of attention directed to the Iranian opposition groups. Groups, I say. Because the coalition of the National Council, the National Council of NCRI is a coalition of groups. So it's extremely important to keep the focus on this idea that you can change Iran by reaching out to the opposition. And that is what I would like to leave you with that notion. Thank you very much.